Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Study Animated. Today we have an incredibly fascinating topic to delve into the synthesis and actions of the vasopressin hormone also known as antidiuretic hormone or ADH. This tiny molecule plays a monumental role in regulating our body's water balance and has a host of other crucial functions. So, let's dive right in. Our story begins in the hypothalamus, a small but mighty region deep within our brain. Here, specialized nerve cells produce vasopressin. These neurons have an incredible ability to sense changes in blood osmolarity and blood pressure. When these neurons sense a change, they release vasopressin into the bloodstream where it embarks on its journey throughout the body. So, where does vasopressin go? Well, it primarily targets to important organs, the kidneys and the blood vessels. Let's start with the kidneys. Vasopressin acts on the renal tubules to increase water reabsorption. This means it helps our body conserve water by reducing the amount lost in urine. Now, let's talk about blood vessels. Vasopressin has another role. It constricts blood vessels, increasing blood pressure. This vasoconstrictive effect is where the hormone gets its name, vasopressin. Vasopressin secretion is tightly regulated by our body's needs. When we are dehydrated or our blood osmolarity increases, it's like an alarm bell for the hypothalamus, triggering the release of more vasopressin. On the flip side, when we are well hydrated, vasopressin secretion decreases, allowing us to excrete more water and maintain a healthy balance. Now, you might be wondering, why is this hormone so important? Well, it has significant clinical implications. Conditions like diabetes insipidus, characterized by excessive urination and dehydration, can result from a deficiency in vasopressin production or its receptor sensitivity. Conversely, an excess of vasopressin can lead to conditions like syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, SIDH, causing water retention and low sodium levels. As we wrap up our journey through the synthesis and actions of vasopressin, I hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for this remarkable hormone and its vital role in maintaining our body's water balance and blood pressure. Remember, science is not just a subject in textbooks, it's a part of our everyday lives and understanding these processes can help us appreciate the incredible complexity of our bodies. If you found this video informative and interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting science content. And as always, keep exploring the world of science because knowledge is power.